Hello, my name is Oscar Virug, and today I'm going to be talking about OpenGL error handling and how you can implement that in your Java LWJGL or Joggle code. This is specifically is LWJGL. I have two import static statements up top here. One includes the OpenGL methods and one includes the GLU methods. You can find this source code in the description of this video. So, let's create a display and the story display and call system.exit0 and this exits the Java virtual machine very quietly it, if you don't do this the display will linger so that's why I do this this issue is not prevalent on Windows operating systems so I've created a display and I've destroyed a display what else I'm going to do something that is very illegal in OpenGL I'm going to call gl begin gl underscore lighting this really isn't legal and doesn't make sense either. GL begin, the the argument should be a shape, but it's lighting, which really isn't well legal. So, what does it do? What does the window do? It just stays the same. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't print anything. It doesn't throw an illegal argument exception. So this is really bad. So this obviously is not what you want to have in your production code. So what's the substitute for an illegal argument exception, an error flag, and an error flag is basically a global value that contains a symbolic uh, value of the the exception that occurred, the error, if you will. And the way we retrieve the error flag is to call gl get error, and that returns the error flag. And the error flag can be any of these values. This is the OpenGL reference page for gl get error can be no error if no error has been recorded and it can be all of these errors which I'm not going to cover because well I don't have that time so we can say if error flag is not gl underscore no underscore error then an error has occurred and we're going to print that an error has occurred Oops. So if we now run the application, then it will print an error has occurred. But how do we know which error has occurred? Now there are two paths you can take here. You can either create some error handling code. So that would be like um, if error flag is the same as invalid enum, then do whatever you've got to do if an invalid enum error has been, well, released but we can also print a string representation of the error by using a utility method called glu error string so this is in the glu class and it produces an error string from the gl error code yeah i just read that from the documentation so what we do is we say system dot error dot print line because this is of course an error and then we say glu error string and this returns a string representation of the error flag. Let's see what it will print. What do you think? I think it will print invalid enum, and it does. Now, to see what's actually wrong with the code, we have to go to the reference page with that specific method. So we are going to go to glbegin, which frankly, no, I don't have open. So we go to glbegin, and we see when it when it throws an invalid enum error here it's generated if mode is set to an unacceptable value and the acceptable values are these all right that's it for the day this has been oscar from the coding universe i hope you've enjoyed the video and i very much hope to see you in the next video bye